Father John Misty tell his Sydney audience to check out flatearth.com while accepting his belated Grammy. Things are really getting interesting here on the uh, Flat Earth Battlefront. He's above the rest of us. So, public persona wise, his so ironic hyper meta take on society and its flaws. They rub people the wrong way. Is he being serious? Does he actually believe this? Is he above the rest of us? Are we just more mere mortals in the presence of a deity? Deity, if you like. And uh, where are we? At Sydney's Enmore Theatre. And swearing away here. I mean, pictures of Buzz and Neil. It's all a very interesting presentation. <laughs> This is the telling one. Spooky guy, what a funny name. Father John of the Mist. And look at the uh you may also like. That's a pretty strange little thing indeed, isn't it? What do you have Santa? No, the anagram is Santa, and here's Chris Cornell, the black sun man. And a Tom, you know about these Toms. Look at this arm here. And that's true about Father John too. Who's this one here? Well, that's Stone Temple Pilots. Well, that'll be true about them too, but look. Very short here. Father John Misty. I just keep thinking of Play Misty for me. It's strange here, and I'm not saying it is him. It just shows more evidence of the Petri dish. It looks very like Brad Pitt with a beard now, doesn't it? And you can see the... Uh, Look from wrist to there, very, very short indeed. Very delicate uh, hands. And very pretty in pink too, I must say. Yes, they're certainly developing a uh, real dialectic strategy with all this. Look at this business here. Straight up. Flatearth.com, and they've even got the link here somewhere. Where is it? Might be in the next bit. Look here. So they make it easy for you. And then the associate words too, I might say. Oh, we can't be reached. Reload. Still can't be reached. That's odd, isn't it, now? And this I found here is flatearth.com.au home page. And Flat Earth Logistics. Beyond the Horizon. 20th Century Service. Looks like it's a delivery system. A strange thing. But certainly that link was broken on the uh, thing, so a lot of people will give up at that point. Let's go about us. Earth in a box now. The ball in a box. Being boxed. Fabulously exciting. Hello, stranger. Well, this is going to need a bit more research. Maybe a few people can look at this uh, with me, see what they think. Definitely uh, strange indeed, services. There you go. Flatten the earth for you. So this is nothing to do with uh, the flat earth debate, but it's a nifty ad for this services company, that's for sure. 
Yeah, so I just looked at, uh, well, this is how I found this John Misty. I just thought, I wonder if there's much in the news these days about Flat Earth. And I'll tell you what, it was old page full and more, no doubt. And uh, the big story with the mad uh, rocket man. Now, this is just trying to discredit things here all the way. That is for sure. And something here about going south. So I'll have to look at these things. But uh, look, putting this stupid picture up. No one believes this, I'm sorry. Space and a flat earth floatment. Like, see the things they'll do to try and discredit things. And then putting up these guys here with number 11. Certainly there's some strange things going on with this. And uh, I'd like your thoughts on the matter. But all I can see is that they seem to be on the discrediting path. Because at the moment too, there's uh, a lot of stories about the moon. Let me show you that. And we've got the Milky Way, the exoplanets, and uh, lizard fish fossils discovered by a 10 year old. That's good stuff, isn't it? Usually by a millionaire or a duke or something, so that's a bit odd. And uh, the accidental space warp record. Oh no. And then the killer whale's still around. Plastic pollution. What are these things on the moon I saw? No, not on the science. Hang on. Oh, this is a good one. The incredible dinosaur road discovery. The mother load of dino tracks found at a NASA site. Got to be kidding. NASA and dinos going together. Here's another one of the same thing at the flight center. South Africa, I'm sure they're talking there, or... No, that's South Australia. The advertiser is Rupert Murdoch's original paper, in fact. The Guardian of the Galaxy. Well, there you go. God, there's things coming left, right and centre. And here's Curiosity with its uh, panoramic photo. So I might look at a bit more of this and come up with another video on all this uh, stuff that's going on. There's too much to cover here, and I better look at it a bit more in depth. Oh, there's a lot under space as a term here. Look at the space agency setting a record for the smallest rock or rocket used to launch a satellite. And that, that's one of these new little box satellites they've got. Well, everything that goes up must come down. And as we know, rockets are fantastic things for a few thousand feet. And uh, you only can have small ones anyway because they're very dangerous. But one's going to launch a Tesla into space. What are you going to do with a Tesla in space? I would never know. What about toilet paper on Mars? Well, that's, a, that's the truest story all day. Toilet paper, that is for certain. Oh, there's a beauty here. The moon is covered with 400,000 pounds of trash without ever being inhabited. And I was trying to find, oh, look at that picture of all the satellites. My oh dear, it's repeated a few times here. Space trash. Now artificial stars, oh God. Oh, look. T, the T boom, and that is certain. That is certain there's a T boom. Now, so Flat Earth's a long way behind NASA. So no doubt about that. Interesting how they're covering it now. That's all I was showing you. Pretty strange days, but they're covering it badly, of course. Here's one from Canada. Space junk. You've got half a head here, this guy. Well, this will be an up-and-coming story in your media, eh? China's plummeting space station. Where will it fall? So, so many days to Bellas, so many days to China's space station falling. I can see that maybe brewing up this year. That'd be an interesting uh, thing and a lot of blame game. And of course, we know it'll all be just fantastic. Oh, and we've got the disco ball. And they're annoyed because it's going to give off disco lights. Fantastic. 